more than 9 million Canadians are living with diabetes or prediabetes. A new study led by Ryerson researchers has found that not all primary care physicians are referring patients with diabetes to educational programs, even though practice guidelines recommend all patients use them. So this study is on physician referral rates to diabetes education programs. The reason why we decided to look into this issue is because diabetes self-management education, there's extensive literature showing that diabetes self-management education is effective in the treatment and management of people who have diabetes. Um, it helps to reduce complications for those who have diabetes, as well as um, lower health care costs, so hospitalization costs, and improve their quality of life. The issue is that diabetes self-managed education is um, offered in diabetes education programs, but these programs aren't being utilized. Approximately 30% of patients with diabetes um, are actually attending these programs. So we're trying to figure out why are these programs being underutilized. So the key findings was that less than half of primary care physicians refer all of their patients with diabetes to um, diabetes education programs. The reasons were because the location was inconvenient, there were perhaps language barriers, the referral process was too long, the waiting, the waiting list to get into the diabetes education program was too long. In the last five or ten years or so, the diabetes education programs have been changing and they've been constantly looking at their communities and trying to look at what their patients need. We need to look at building awareness and building partnership strategies between diabetes educators and primary care providers.